Welcome to all our guests on behalf of the two schools, Parkview Junior, Parkview Senior. I will also like to extend a special welcome to all our guests and our guest speakers who have come to grace this hundred years. It's not all the time that we turn hundred. And turning hundred comes with a lot of work, a lot of engineering, a lot of policies. And here today, we are here to learn and listen to all who've been part of that journey. As a welcome gesture, we have uh, two items. In fact, we have items from the Parkview Junior School, which will be basically started by a prayer and then about two songs. That will be led by Miss um, Shelley Oldsworth as well as Mrs. Feinstein. And then after that, I will um, basically request the Parkview Senior to come over and do their, their item, which will be basically um, led by Mrs. Mary. <laughs>
just any bell. This is the original bell. So it has stood the test of time. <laughs> Now I'm going to be calling upon Mrs. Pennington, Fiona Pennington. She is our current headmistress. She's joined this family last year in August. She comes from Pumadanga. Please, Mrs. Pennington, will you please come and join me on stage? morning to you all. Firstly, to my distinguished guests, welcome. To our parents here this morning from Parkview Junior, Parkview Senior, you are most welcome. To our learners from both schools, to our teachers, to our friends, and to many of you from the community, you are most welcome this morning. I'm not going to mention all the names of our guests here this morning, but please feel welcome. In our midst, we have Mr. Ndlevu, Mr. Ndevu, our Minister of Education, District Director of Education from Johannesburg East, who has set aside this time to come and share with the Parkview schools this morning. Can we give him a round of applause? Also, we have a few of our ex-principals from the senior as well as from the junior school. Some have been able to make it to this occasion today, and a few have indicated that they were not able to. But we would say welcome to them also. The first one is Felicity Peters. Can we give her a round of applause? We also have Ms. Marge Holmes in our presence. Can we give her a round of applause? And we also acknowledge Mr. Lee and Mr. Moore, who has also been a principal at the senior school. And with that, I would also like to say, we think of our colleague, Ms. Perchtold, who is not with us this morning, but I know she would have loved to be with us. But because of ill health, she is not here. So we would like to then welcome Ms. Usha Badu, who is the acting principal at the senior school. Welcome, ma'am. Our IDSOs, or departmental officials, who have been invited and have indicated that they would be attending, are Joyce Lakota, Ms. Ravina Harilal, Zenobia and Miss Faith Habana. I haven't seen them, but they may be. Oh, I see a few hands at the back there. Welcome, ladies. We appreciate your presence. Thank you. One last and important person to be welcomed here today is also Mr. Keith Lockwood, who would be receiving the award or the honor, the honorary award that we are giving on behalf of his late sister, Mrs. Liz Lockwood. I may have that wrong, may not be the sister, but brother, mother, so sorry. Thank you for the rectification. For the mother, Miss Liz Lockwood. So we have Keith in our presence. Can we give him a round of applause? Great pleasure to welcome you all here this morning to our celebratory joint assembly and our handing over 
of the posthumous recognition to the Lockwood family. So, with that, I'd also like to say to you, thank you for taking the time to come and grace this occasion with us as Parkview Schools. And when I look at the number of people who have attended here today, it makes my heart feel very warm because that is evident to me that over the hundred years, Parkview Junior and Senior have been an important part in your lives. And I do believe that these two institutions have unified our people within this community and even stretching a little wider than just this community. We have been unified through excellent education and this is what our schools have been known for over the past 100 years and I have seen this through the results that have been delivered. And I promise you that we are proud of Parkview Junior and Parkview Senior because this is what we continue to do even after a hundred years. We believe in good education and we are seen as reputable schools, public schools nationally. So I think for that we need to give the Parkview schools a round of applause. And like I've said, it's also an important day for us today because at Parkview Junior, we have a plaque put up in honor of our late Liz Lockwood. So we are going to hand over the award to Keith later on during the celebration. And I'm not going to disclose too much right now. So with that, I'd like to say to you, please feel welcomed. Feel free, relax, and enjoy this program with us here today. Thank you. Happy birthday! I can't believe we are 100! Happy birthday to us! Yes! Happy birthday! Woo! believe Parkview Schools is a hundred years old. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? Come, come here, come here. Come stand up. Come next to me. You can take my hand. Come. It's okay. It's okay. What is your name? Asad. Asad, turn to face these people. I cannot believe you're a hundred years old. You look he looks amazing for his age. How old are you? Six. Oh, sorry, I was confused. Thank you. Take a seat. Give him a round of applause. Yeah. But all of you, even though you are 100 years old, you look fabulous. Because it's one thing to grow old, but you want to look fabulous while doing it, right? Yes. All right. We're going to keep you energized, ladies and gentlemen, because we are here to play the Parkview Centenary Quiz. Are you guys ready? Yeah! I can't hear you. Are you ready? Yeah! All right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you know the answer to this, put up your hands. This question is worth 10 points. Who was the first principal of the Parkview School? Was it? Wait a second. I'm giving you multiple choice here. Was it Mrs. Endley? Was it Mrs. Avita Besaidenot? Or was it Mrs. VP Selkirk? Okay, who wants to answer this one? Over here, yes. Yes, madam. Mrs. VP Selkirk? Oh, good answer, but it's wrong, I'm so sorry. The correct answer is Miss Endley. Next question. Now, back in 1917, the school was very different, right? Yes. 
Right, so, what kind of toilets... <laughs> what kind of toilets did the school used to have? Was it A, chamber pots, two, wooden outhouses, or three, horses at night? Let's go over here. Hello, hello, hello. I think it's the wooden hop Ooh, so close, so close, but so far, you don't get 50 points. The correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't believe this, is horses at night. Because they used to use buckets as a toilet and then the horses would come at night to take it away. True story. What do you think about that? I think horses do the Good. Take 50 points, why not? Now, next question, ladies and gentlemen. The school song, right? You guys sing, what is the name of the song you sing? Father? Father, we your little children. And Park View Senior, what is the name of your school song? Melina? What? <laughs> Green the something to do with the green of the valley. Greener the valley, stronger is the vibe. Right. Okay, so here's your question. True or false? The name of the original school song in 1917 was Hymn of Praise, Kana Mala Non Discoctus. Good luck, it's Latin. Is it true or false? True or false? Let's, uh, let's go on the side, all the way to the back. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, all the way on the side. Yes, is it true or false? False. And that is the right answer! Yeah! You get 20 points. Wow! The reason why that was not the name of the school song is because in Latin, carne mala non biscoctus means bad dog, no biscuit. And that would be a silly, a silly name for a school song, don't you think? Okay, next question. Parkview Senior and Parkview Junior split up in 1932. What else happened in South Africa that year? Did South Africa adopt a new national flag? Was singer Miriam Makeba born? Or did Franco's restaurant open for the first time in Parkview? Right, let's go on the side. Yes, madam. Not, not you, her. No, not you, her. Okay. Also, I'm here. Franco's restaurant. It's a good answer, I'm so sorry. The correct answer is Miriam Makeba was born in 1932. Two more questions for this round. When Parkview School was built way back in 1915, do you know how much it cost? Take a guess. Somebody, just take a guess. Take a guess. Um, think, of, think of a lot of money. Two rand. <laughs> okay. When Parkview was originally built, it cost two thousand and eighty-seven pounds. Yeah, exactly right. So here's your question. What can you buy with that amount of money today? Can you buy A, a new PlayStation 4, B, a Lego Star Wars Darth Vader alarm clock, or C, a fancy computer screen? Let's go on the side. Yes, yes, yes. That's correct! Double points! You guys are just amazing. Now, last question of round number one. In 1923, 49 Parkview school parents complained. You know parents like to complain, right? They complain about a lot of things, right? Yes, exactly. 
But in 1923, 49 parents complained about this. They complained because A, the school had a lady principal. B, they complained because the school play was cancelled that year because of scarlet fever. C, they complained because wild monkeys were stealing food from the children. A, B, or C. Let's go right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. Back row. Yes, sir. What's your name? Mohammed. What is the answer? A. A. Because the school had a lady principal. That's correct. Crazy? They complained because they had a lady principal. Boy, we have come a long way. We've come a long way. Children, give yourselves a big round of applause. We're going to do round two just now, okay? As you see on the program, we were supposed to have our honorable MEC here today. But unfortunately, he couldn't make it. Duty called. But he didn't leave us astray. He said, I will be part of this. I'll send one of my own. He did send the district director, Mr. Nyamezeli Ndevu. Mr. Nyamezeli Ndevu comes from the Eastern Cape. His journey with education commenced in the Eastern Cape. Um, he decided he doesn't want to stay there forever. He moved to where everybody moves to, the hub, Gauteng. He just didn't want to be an educator or a manager of a school. He decided he wants to be part of those people that make these legislation for these educators and um, children. So Mrs. Ndev, I mean, sorry guys, we're used to having ladies only in the school. Apologies. Mr. Ndevu is our district um, director for Johannesburg East. He is here today to come and share this wonderful day. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Um, I'm not sure when I started grade one in 1959, you were, you were said to be learners or pupils. There was, there was something called pupils. And then it, it went to some, through some kind of transformation to be learners and, and students and all these things. But let me greet you and greet the STB of the school, of the two schools, for the wonderful work they have done. I have been called to represent the MEC. I'm not the MEC, and I can't be one. It's, it's late now. Um, this government wants young people. So if I started grade one in 1959, you can then go through the process. But it's so amazing to find that this school is 100 years old. And, and associate my, I want to associate myself with the 100 years. The school has gone through a process. We were told here that somewhere there was a toy toy when the parents did not want a lady principal. It then says that the school has been going through a process of change. Gender representativity has been part. It's not a new thing in part view. You have been part of the process. It also says uh, to those of my age, I must appreciate the principals who started uh, when the school started. Um, we were not there. But maybe let's indicate to the school and the chairperson of the SGB as well as the SMT, both schools, why not go and apply to be a heritage site? so that you de are declared the heritage site, because I agree with the program director that 100 years is not an easy, or you are. 
Thank you very much. Thank you that you are a heritage site. And I can see the buildings. Please don't change them. Don't put new things. This is wonderful. Um, it's so wonderful. And, and you look at young people uh, singing, reciting. Um, and, and, and you can't believe, at your age, my friend there, uh, we were talking, she's doing some work after pension, was a principal of the school some time ago. She's still going on. You can't believe what, at a particular stage in your life, you were doing this, you were singing, and when you were singing, we were looking at your parents, where are my parents? And the teachers were saying, ah, don't do that, be straight. You were talking whilst others are talking. It was not a scene. This is the life of a school child. And, and I sympathize with those who are, going, who are on pension and already who are, who are going to go on pension. That somewhere in your life, you miss this waking up in the morning at 8 o'clock, eh? come to school, and the noise, and the shouting. Uh, when you are at school, you want to go out and say, when is the school going out? When am I getting out of this? When are the holidays coming? Only one week of holidays. When do you reopen? Because you miss them, isn't it? We always miss them as teachers. So it's, it's a wonderful day. This is a center of excellence, a center of excellence for 100 years. And I believe that for these 100 years, you are not doing all these wonderful things. And I'm sure, Nalin, you are not going to tell the MEC and the, and the Premier what I'm going to be saying. It, it just ends here. That uh, there are many things that are happening in the education system. OPE, where are the books? Where is the document? After OPE, something else, national strategy, what is it? National curriculum. After natural cut, there's something else. But my philosophy as a teacher, I started teaching in 1972. My philosophy as a teacher is a simple one. When I was taught by teachers, some of them were not qualified. Just go to, back to the basics. Botmas is the is the operation. Brackets, off sign, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Whether you have got caps or maps, whether you, whether you have got OBE, it stands to be the four basic operations. <laughs> Simple things, and my appeal to all of us in the teaching fraternity, may we just go back to the basics. These are all big things that are confusing us. Um, I don't see us getting anywhere. The more we change, the more the system becomes weak. It looks like, I'm not saying let's go back to what we used to do, but it worries me. Simple things, two times two is four. Where is that table? Why are we not doing it? No, 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 Caps is saying this, but two plus two is four, it doesn't change. Whether there are maps or depths or caps, it still remains the same. I'm, I'm, Nalin, I'm saying, don't say to, the, to my bosses, I'm saying we must change policy. I'm saying within policy, let's do the simple things. Children must be at school on time. The first period must start and, and must salute all the SGBs in the 100 years who have been keeping on making this school this monument of excellence. Because without them, without their support, employing the right principals, employing the right teachers, not being pressurized by anything, making sure that your admissions, one thing that you have to uh, um, congratulate and celebrate with this school is the social cohesion. That is a buzzword today. Hey, so everybody talks social cohesion, radical economic transformation. This school has been doing it. 
If this school decided in 1990, 91, even before the new dispensation to say, or opening the doors to everybody. We want to celebrate that. Thank you to those SGPs that are not here. Thank you to those teachers and principals. Because I can assure you, when you started that process, you were scorned it. People were saying to you, Helias Ferrares, you are selling out. Why do you do that? But now, 30 years, everybody wants to do what you saw that it is inevitable many years ago. We want to congratulate the school. We want to congratulate even those people who are not here. You had a vision. You knew that in 30 years to come, this is what is going to happen. Congratulations. We want to thank you very much. As a department, on behalf of the MEC, enjoy the 100 years centenary and keep on keeping on. Do the good work, but the best you can. Learners, keep the excellence. Everywhere you go, represent Parkview, not yourselves. Represent a nation. This uniform is representing a rainbow nation. It is representing change that you saw many years ago. Thank you very much.